Hey guys, let's talk about battery supply. These type of displays where I showed in earlier videos on how to flash them by welding into the back are unfortunately closed. So you cannot open them up to replace the battery easily. So there are two options to do so, either by lifting up the front and risking scratches on this front and so on. Then to open them completely up and replace like basically the batteries inside and gluing everything back together. On these bigger ones there is this pouch cell which is not a LiPo battery which is quite important because LiPo batteries go up to 4.2 volt and uh, this type of PCBs only allow up to 3.3 volt, so very important here. And the second option, which I want to show today, is by basically like placing a battery holder onto the back, which uh, can hold these standard AAA or AA batteries. I only have the AA battery holder here, which makes it a bit thicker than if you would have like the triple A batteries and again the way to do is by basically melting into the back same for this one and disconnecting the original battery inside where we will weld it open and then connecting the power supply just externally where we also welded the yeah, pins open to flash them and I will demonstrate it on the 7.5 inch one and to do so we just yeah, go at the back and we basically just simply want to re disconnect one of these connections and I will just yeah, note the area where to go it's basically at the last um, character of this printing or laser in laser imprint and I then will just simply make a hole inside just to open it up. Normally these batteries should really last like 10 years with around about two updates a day but you never know what happens or if the um, access point reception is bad it can be way shorter and so on. So just to have an option to replace the battery is really the better way overall. So it should be nearly done now. I have opened up quite a hole here and looks like I'm a bit too far to the left still to access the contacts better, like so, this looks better, or even more. It's better if it's really like completely on the naming. This is the first time I'm melting into the back as well, so just so you see what or how the development for myself also looks like. So this looks good. I will now remove the excess plastic while it's still hot to make it simpler. Like that. And you can now see we have exposed one of the battery contacts. And I will now cut the rest of the plastic away as well. It could be way less plastic in the future if you know the perfect position, of course. But yeah, that looks good enough already. So we can now either just simply, uh, let's zoom in a bit, just cut away this one contact or just uh, solder it or remelt the solder on the contact to lift up the pad like so I will do this 
and also use the tweezer to lift it up like so and then I will yeah just simply melt it and lift it up and now the original battery is already disconnected and it's important to do this because if you would supply just with the original battery um, connected external 3.3 volt the battery might be damaged and blow up or something like that so it's important to disconnect it and now it's already yeah disconnected and the next step is now to just simply connect the new battery holder onto the existing ground and VCC connections to do so I will first pre-tin the wires of this battery connector let's just yeah, quickly do that this like so and also I will pre-tin the missing connection here inside let's turn on the light to make it visible so the full right is the ground connection where I will just simply connect the ground wire to like so not beautiful but good enough same as with this one so now ground and VCC is connected and to yeah stick it to the back I have this yeah like squishy double-sided tape which I will cut into uh, links like so first put it onto the back it, yeah. you can do it in the arrangement you want of course and then just peel it the seventh second tape off like so stick the battery holder on and as mentioned if you use triple a battery holders it's a bit thinner and looks a bit yeah smaller again but basically you can just insert the battery holder uh, the batteries and now wait for the display to be booted and it's the same with this display you just have to use the right position basically as shown here and can then also disconnect the original one and yeah solder on the new batteries as mentioned yeah you can really like if you know the right position you can just make a very tiny hole to disconnect the original battery and yeah but otherwise this is it and now the display can be reused basically forever <laughs>